What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the Elite Creature Collectibles Freddy Krueger life-size bus from Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. Uh, this is bus I have delayed buying for many, many months and finally did it. So I've never seen this in person. I have seen the Jason in person in the Philippines. Uh, box is pretty heavy. Uh, as usual, uh, you know, ECC boxes are always very heavy. I came with a brown outer shipper with styrofoam protection. First, we have instructions. So the arm and the bus are separate. Now it comes with a plaque and an adapter for the light up feature. So I'm very excited to get this. I think it's going to become one of my favorite busts in my collection. I had just barely opened my Goku bust, uh, the one I showed yesterday. So I got this literally five minutes later. I got number 150 of 700. here's the top. So it's not straps, it's just tape, which sucks. But here is the typical COA. Number 150. Nice good number. I don't think I have a matching number for anything. We'll see what I got my Jason bus when I eventually order that. So Jason bus, I gotta sell a few statues first before we can get that one. Yeah, so when I ordered this, I went direct through uh, cinemaket.com, and they told me that these are only made to order. So they take initial pre-orders, so here's the bus, already looks awesome, uh, and they said someone canceled their order, and that's why I was able to get it. Yeah, so here's Freddy, and then here we got the claw and the base. Yeah, I should definitely be able to fit this on my shelf. So, here it is. Yeah, there's only 700 of these made. Definitely the best life-size... Freddy bust out there. This does come with a little plaque. You can basically place on the base anywhere you want, like so. Put that to the side for now. I want to do the claw after. I want to get Freddy first. So we're actually just gonna put this back on the ground. It's definitely a big base, no doubt. But I think I have bigger bus base than that. Okay. Alrighty, 
folks. Ah. Check that out. Jupiter. So the hat, completely optional, like so, but of course Freddy looks classic with his hat on. These busts are the first where they really started incorporating an arm feature. Because all the other, my other ECC busts are just, you know, sh a little bit of shoulders. As you can see, his arm is actually, the jacket comes from, all right, let's just get rid of this. Now, these do move a little bit, but the hands are solid, and it has sculpted his hands. So it looks very nice. And the idea is you put this through the shirt. And then there'll be a hole that pegs it in. So it's gonna go like this. Now this, the shirt is stretchy. Hmm. You know, folks, I got to get to a meeting at work, so I'm going to do this on my own time because uh, I don't want to poke a hole through that first. But I know I got a work meeting right now, so I'll get it through and then we'll do some close ups and get everything set up. You're back. Alrighty, YouTubers, so here is Freddy Krueger all set up uh, in all his glory, and look at him. Wowzers, he looks freaking awesome. So, yeah, as you can see next to, like, the Marcus bust, he's quite a bit bigger overall. He has, obviously, his arm and then that mass, monster massive base, uh, which also does have a light-up feature which we will show you here. Uh, I already got it plugged in, so it's a button over here. But basically, there it is. So, lights that up. Looks like a hallway with Freddy inside. Pretty freaking cool uh, feature. I know their Pennywise also has a similar feature, you know, with Georgie and the sewers. But cool little feature, you know. Something you really need to get up close of uh, to see, because obviously back here, it just looks like a little light. Uh, when you're up close, like super up close, and you look inside, you're like, oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, nothing you probably need to have plugged in all the time, although I can definitely plug mine into my console over there. Now, the way this bus is angled, most people actually like to display this at an angle like this. This is uh, usually how most people like to display this and probably how I'll display it as well. I need to fix the hat, it's a little uneven. I'm not sure what's accurate or not, but this side's coming up a little and this one's more flat. So I'm not sure if I want it flat or up and then curl this one up as well, like that. 
uh, but I'll, um, I'll probably match it to the one third, which I think has a slight curl maybe. But let's uh, check this out in good detail though. So here's the base, very, very big as you can see. And then you got this plaque, which I really like. You know, somewhat similar to like the Underworld plaques. You can really display where you want, but I feel like it definitely needs to go right there because that part of the base is empty. There's a lot of space right here. So I like having the plaque right there. I think it helps the flow better. So I did not find a hole in this shirt. So I just freaking put the peg through it with the shirt. Probably, uh, you know, tore it, but whatever. Uh, there was no hole in it though. Now, like I said, these do move a little bit, but they're in a sculpted hand, but they do move a little bit. Now they are not sharp, but they are real metal. You know, that's real metal as well. It feels like steel. And then this feels like leather. Here's the sculpted hand. Uh, you know, you can see right there, the burnt hand. Uh, the weathering looks great on the shirt. It feels like a real Christmas sweater, sorta. Has a little bit of tears. The tears right here look really good here near the neck. And you can see, you know, they sculpted a decent amount. Uh, so you can see that. Now let's take the hat off. So you can see it, hat off. Now one thing that really just pops is the eyes. So this does have glass eyes and they look really good. They really pop. You know, especially with that pose, his eyes feel like they're a little bit higher. You know, and this is such a classic Freddy pose. You know, they have posters of this, claws between the face, eyes up, and that little grin looks super sinister and very, very cool. So the eyes look phenomenal. I love the detail. Uh, to me, these eyes are higher quality than Queen Studio eyes, like my Thanos bus eyes. These eyes just look more premium. They look more realistic. They look like real eyes. Yeah, they're freaking creepy as fuck. Like, they're really good. Like, I like queen eyes, but ECC definitely has the edge when it comes to their eyes. And I believe these are custom made in-house. So the eyes look phenomenal. Let's look at the teeth. The teeth, I'm not 100% sure what they're made of. If I was to guess, I'd say they're acrylic teeth. Even the tongue looks creepy. But it looks really good. The sculpt looks on point. This looks 100% like Robert England, if I'm pronouncing that right. So a very, very good sculpt. And I really like the fact the hat is removable. So if you want to see the entire head, you know, it's freaking awesome. So I wish they did that with the one third. Uh, but unfortunately, they didn't. So let's just look at this sculpt here. You know, the burnt face, ear torn very, very creepy looking. This is made of translucent resin, so it gives a lifelike effect. It has almost a transparency to it. But I think it works and looks really good. You can see almost like little burnt marks inside, like little brown blackish, you know, like residue, because, you know, Freddy was burnt alive. So very, very cool, very, very cool. Extremely impressive. I still think I prefer the hat on just because that is how I view Freddy Krueger. He has to have his classic hat. So we will display it hat on. Although I'm pretty confident it actually it goes with this little part right here. Pretty confident this is it. So like so. That looks good. Just like that, boom. Yeah, I do love having the option to display hat off though. So very, very cool. So it's definitely very, very impressive and I do love it quite a bit. I think it is one of my most impressive busts now for sure. So we're gonna go ahead and place this over here. Let me show you guys what exactly I've done. I post this on Instagram, but some of you may not follow me there. But basically I removed my Elm Street and Camp Crystal Lake and put them right there like that. And then I just put posters right here. Uh, those are Mondo posters that I just found a high quality image and printed it out for like three bucks in my print shop. 
And I was thinking of doing darkness over there, but I decided against that. I want to do Myers because I want to keep that knife above him. I feel like he needs to be next to the Freddy and Jason. So we're doing that. Now here is this Freddy. And if you look at this one, yeah, the hat's not super curled, maybe a slight, but you can see that one. Again, I absolutely love uh, Elite Creature collectible work. I just think they are some of the absolute best. So I'm definitely very much looking forward to getting Jason when uh, eventually I can get the money for that. Just need to sell uh, Wonder Woman and Aquaman. So somebody out there, contact me and buy those two statues so we could get Jason in this collection room. But let's go ahead and move Freddy over to his spot. All right, anyway, before I show you Freddy in that spot, here is the COA. So if you want to pause and read that, you can. This is sculpted by Mitch Devane, sculptor, makeup, FX artist. And the different sculptor for the one third. So basically, this is how I have to have Freddy. Now, this shelf is about 20, uh, two feet wide and 15 inches deep. Uh, he actually fits the shelf perfectly when angled like this. I was hoping I could angle him so Freddy's looking at me, but I tried and it just did not work. The shelf was sticking out, didn't look good. This is the way they meant it to be displayed, obviously. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. It still looks really good. Uh, and it actually does fit surprisingly pretty darn good. I was worried it would stick out the shelf, but it actually doesn't at all. So uh, the only thing that's hitting is the hat is hitting the wall that's about it uh but you know it's just hot so not a big deal but here it is here is the plaque looks really good and here's a comparison to this plaque you want to see they're about the same size so i just i like displaying this one right here uh, this one does not come with a plaque he just has his nameplate in the back but the Jason bus does come with a plaque. Now I'm gonna get the COA and mount it, uh, potentially just right there and there, or I, mean, I could do it right there and right there so it's all four in a row. I probably could do that, just put it like right here. And then Jason's right there so they're all four in a row. We'll see. I did connect it to my lighting system, uh, which is right there. So basically, whenever I indicate Halloween theme, it's going to start playing the Michael Myers music and turn on all my horror statues, plus all the cabinet lighting. So here's where Myers is at, like that, with the movie and that. I do want to get a movie. I mean, I have that set, but I'm going to withdraw one movie from there, Dream Warriors 3, and put it right here. I think I want that right there. But here it is in all its glory. I still want to fizzle a little with that hat to get it looking even. I want it to look just like that bust, or the one-third. Although, even though technically that's real material, to be honest, I like this hat better. <laughs> uh, now I can understand why the one-third, they just decided to sculpt it. Because the sculpted hat just looks, you know, pristine. Uh, now this hat still looks really good. No doubt. Uh, the material is weird. It's like a felt. It's, you know, it's a weird material. Although if you wanted to, you could easily replace that hat with something else. You know, that hat is black where that's brown. And I'm not 100% sure what is accurate if it's black or brown. Although I think it's brown. Although even the Iron Studios one is black. So I don't know. Maybe it just has different uh, hats throughout the different movies but Alexa turn on horror statue lights so it does turn on the lights although obviously it's very hard to see from this angle but let me just you can see it's much better in person it's hard to see it uh, it's hard for me to see in person with my couch up I'd have to you know let's say you know we extend my couch down and now I can see it so you know generally I do like to watch TV fully extended like that but now you can see it better obviously and how it looks so let me know do you think I should put the COA right there or right there 
I don't know about putting it that high. I don't have any other COAs that high. Could work. Meyer COA I just put down there because I don't before I just had it on the wall. So overall, uh, final thoughts and opinions on this bust. So this bus was $2,100. That is about as much as I paid on my Pennywise busts. Uh, Lycan bus was $2,500. Marcus was $1,100. Reaper was $1,500. Now this base is very big. It's pretty freaking cool. I do like it. I don't know if I like it any better than like the Blade or Underworld bases. I mean, I like the light up feature, but it's not like groundbreakingly amazing. I do like the fact they incorporated his arm with, you know, his scissor hands, because uh, that is classic Freddy. When you think Freddy, you got to have the claw hands. So I love how they incorporated that. And same with Jason, they did the machete. So I could definitely understand why that would cause this to be more expensive. Uh, you know, they had to sculpt that arm, the blades and everything. So I do think the detail is incredible and I love the eyes. They're probably one of my favorite eyes now on one of my busts. This, my Pennywise bust, and believe it or not, that Khaleesi are my three favorite glass eyes I own. Although these are really good. God, this might be my best glass eye now. I think it's, I mean, the Pennywise one are freaking perfect as well. But this one, because of how his eyes are so like open, you can really see it, see the little vein work. And, you know, it's just like, it's really expressionate. The eye colors are actually a little bit different on this one. His eyes are bluish here, where here they're more green as you can see, but man alive, they're so good. I really love them both. They're both just so, so impressive. They truly are, and they look phenomenal next to each other. So I really, really love how this looks. The one third with the bust a little bit higher up. You know, it's just like how I did my Underworld setup uh, with the bust a little bit higher. Now we just need the Jason bust right there and it'll be complete. But this is freaking amazing. I, I think the sculpt is perfect. The detail's phenomenal. The base is awesome. So I really don't have any complaints. It's definitely the best Freddy bust out there and I doubt it will ever be topped. So it's definitely another grail in my opinion. Goodness, it's a 10 out of 10. It's really, really awesome. I love it. So yeah, folks, let me know your thoughts and opinions below. Uh, what you think overall for me, it's freaking amazing. Uh, I do like how it's a little bit different than the one-third in terms of hat. Even the clothing is, you know, different. As you can see, this one's a little bit more vibrant than that one. You know, because Freddy does look a little bit different in each movie. So I like having both interpretations. So very, very cool. Absolutely love it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully we can get the Jason bust within the next month or two. Uh, really got to sell my Aquaman and wonder woman and have some people that owe me money pay me and then we can buy it uh, so we're just waiting on that uh but really looking forward to adding jason and completing this display i feel like it's just come coming out to be just so freaking gorgeous so that's it though folks hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe have a great day